talking about a parasitic infection called Chagas disease. Okay, this comes from so-called kissing bugs. The infection has made its way to Southern California and it can cause chronic problems and it can even be fatal. So here to break down what exactly this is, and again, it's in Southern California, it hasn't made its way to the Midwest to our knowledge yet, is Dr. Marielle Friccioni with Rush University Medical Center. Dr. Friccioni, can you hear me okay? Yep. Okay, very good. Well, you're back once again. I I'm just curious what we're gonna be talking about the next time you join the program, because this has been kind of a wild streak of wild exotic medical headlines. Uh, my mind is kind of blown here. I know. What, what exactly is Chagas disease? That I don't know how close up of a, fo a photo that is, but uh, those things up close look kind of menacing. Yeah, they're actually about half an inch to an inch long, so you can pick them out pretty easily. Uh, and as you can see, they have that kind of banding on the outside. But Chagas disease refers to uh, a disease caused by a parasite called trypanosoma cruzii, uh, we call it T. cruzii, and the kissing bugs get uh, infected with that parasite, and then when they bite a human or an animal, then actually it comes out in their poop, and then the poop can get mixed in to the bite, where the, where the area of the bite was, and then that gets transmitted either to the or the dog or some other animal. Yikes. Okay, so what are the symptoms of Chagas disease and how serious can it become? The symptoms in the acute phase, what we call, which is if you get sick at all during the early phase, you might have flu-like symptoms. Um, sometimes if you get bit near the eye, then that gives you a swollen eyelid. Um, and j just as an aside, it's called a kissing bug because it usually bites at night and it usually bites around the mouth or the eyes. Um, oh. So in the early phases, it's flu-like symptoms. Then weeks to even decades later, what? you might have symptoms of heart failure um, and problems with your intestines because it can affect the smooth muscle even decades later. So it can be... Uh, contracted but not realized or diagnosed for decades yeah and the only time you can treat it is if it's recognized in the first few weeks in the acute phase oh. so it's one of the reasons why the CDC is so important because they track where the bugs are they track if animals are infected they're the only ones that can test for it and sometimes we have to get the medication from them. And that's the only way you can prevent the chronic problems is by taking the medication early on. Early on. So it's almost like, I mean, I'm thinking about Lyme disease, for example, and how if that's not caught early, it is like exponentially more complicating, right? Yeah, exactly. And so this is something that we don't have to worry too much in Illinois. We've only found one or two of these type of bugs in the southern part of the state. Uh, and only half of any bugs that are around have the parasite in it, mm. right? So there's a really low chance here. But like different kinds of ticks, like you mentioned, they're coming into Illinois. These bugs might start coming into Illinois more. Hmm. or the, the dog kennels, which is what's happening in Texas. The dog kennels might be uh, sort of run rampant with Chagas disease. And you don't know unless someone like the CDC is coming in and testing animals and people. This is, this is concerning. So um, in terms of you know, the headline, Chagas disease, you know, someone was infected in Southern California. How new is this? Like how, how significant is this most recent development? Or is this just... Uh, something that's been uh, around for a long time and like these other stories we've covered in the last couple of weeks every once in a while there's a human diagnosis yeah it's it's a lot like the other ones like you said it's a great question it's been around for a long time in human history they mm -hmm. even dug up some mummies that had some of uh some of the parasite in it so we know it's been infecting humans in a lot for a long time it's mostly in the past, it's been in, the, in South America, um, and it's really only in North and South America. 
but that's when we would worry about it more is if someone traveled there and then came back now texas we know has a bunch of cases and has a, had a bunch of human cases mm -hmm. california has had a bunch of human cases over the fa past 50 years or so but there's no surveillance mm. for it not every state is required to report cases and if you don't report cases to your local health department and then tell the cdc we have no idea how many are happening yeah so this is to me this is a really huge story about why the CDC is so important and why public health needs to be funded. That underscores uh, both those things for sure. Dr. Friccioni, before we let you go, what's your bottom line for folks here in Illinois? You know, do we go on DEFCON 5 alert or are we kind of down in the yellow? Bottom line it for us. You know, I think this isn't just a story about Chagas disease, right? This is a disease that comes from a, a bug that has a cute name, right? So mm -hmm. it makes headlines. It's a kissing bug. Yeah. But that's not the story. It's not a risk here in Illinois. If you travel to places in South America or even Texas or California, it's good to tell your doctor about that. You should always protect your home from bugs and rodents getting in. So fill cracks, et cetera. If you're in rural South America, you should use bug nets over your bed. Uh, so there are ways to prevent it always. But if, if the local public health department or the CDC isn't telling you about it, you're not gonna know when it's on your doorstep. Mm -hmm. And so that is the scariest piece to me. Indeed, all right, Dr. Mariel Friccioni with uh, Rush University. Thank you once again for your time. We always appreciate it.